Hey everybody, let's be talking in this video about sensors. Android have different type of sensors. Some of them you will see when you play game, like moving right, moving left, and more. The sensor what that I want to talk about in this video is light sensitive. This sensor could sense sensitive the light, so when the light will be increased in the room, or when, when the light will be decreased. Imagine I want to build a very simple app. When the light is going off, let's play some music. When the light is going on, the music will be stopped. Imagine you have a kids in your in your home and you want when be a night, you want to play some music for them. Already the phone will already run it when it's, it be by default when it be uh, dark. So first of all, I want to, to work with the GPS. So I have to open a very basic app. MPT doesn't have anything, so I would go to the main face and add something. I want to work with GPS not GPS, sorry, I want to work with a uh, sensor. So first I'm adding user features. The name of this feature should be Android. Dot. I'm looking for some hardware. I'm looking for the sensor, accumulator. So I want to make sure the sensor available before I'm doing uh, this thing. Also, I would use use permission for access to internet because I want to run the music from the internet. I don't have it in my phone. So yes, this is very simple to permission, just making sure from them doesn't have any crash. Yes, now if this phone have this type of sensor, it will work. Otherwise, it will not work this app. So now I want to get started. First, I will go to my app and I will try to write some codes. First of all, I, I work with sensor, so I have to define sensor. So I say, okay, I have sensor, let me name a sensor. Also, I want to manage the sensor, so I have to have sensor manager. So, okay, okay, I have sensor. Okay, make sure sensor manager, this one. So, I define because I need it. So, yes, here is it. Now, I want when application started, I want to initialize my work. I'll say, okay, sensor, the sensor manager, this one, will be initialized from, from system services. Okay, I will say, Sensor manager, sensor manager. I'm looking for system service. Yes, system service. The system service I'm looking for the for the sensor. I'll say okay. Context dot the name of the service that I was I looking for is the sensor service. Sensor service. Sensor service. This one. To make my work clear, I will just open all this page. So okay, I initialize it now. I want to run it okay i'll say sensor that i have it not my sensor will be equal uh, sensor manager this one dot i want just to get default sensor which type of sensor i would use i would say okay get default sensor the sensor i would use it for the light sensor so okay sensor sensor then you select the type of the sensor. I would like for I, I select the one that have for light for working for light. I will call it say light L1 light. Okay, now it's really easy to line. First of all, I just create sensor manager initialize from system, from system service. Then it will have a lot of a lot of types from sensors. I will select the light one that's good sense of the light. That's great. I added this one. Now I, I want to complete my work. So to work with sensor, you have to define, you have to implement something named sensor manager. So you have here to say, okay, I'm implementing sensor value change. This one, sensor event listener. So I'm listening to value of the sensor. He say, okay, I need to implement something. Okay, please implement what I need. He say, okay, I need to implement two methods. One of them is when changing accurate in the value and this one when change sensor value. I will not care of this method. My work will be on this method. So whenever any change in the value of the sensor happen, this method will be fire up and give me the value. Okay, I want to start and stop the sensor. I started when on, on resume when and I stop it when they're on pass mode. So I, I just implement this two method. So I just, I want to run it from the uh, on, on, on resume. So how I would run it, it's really easy. I would say this one dot, I want to register what I have to register, 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 sensor, so listener. So I give it the sensor value. First of all, I give it this, then I give it the sensor name. Then I just, this one for running, so I say sensor manager, 
dot uh, the value that I want to see as sensor delay sensor delay normal this one I'm taking this type of sensor so yes here is it then I when I be in pass mode I just stop it I say okay just unregister the sensor okay sensor manager just please stop the sensor listening so I, I'm no longer uh, listening for that I say okay unregister un okay unregister listener then I say this I just here when I want to fire up this listener or this sensor here when I want done from it yes now let's go to the last part now I want whenever the light in the room is open like some music will be running so when when someone opened the light in the room a music will be running so okay I will say here if I now I have the value of the light here will be an event so okay I'll say if the events dot value for zero this means the value of the light for example I say more than 14 14 mean the, the room will be will be will have a light less than 14 it's be dark so if, if you want it to be run when to be dark you for example say less than 10 so that's mean for uh, be light, be dark so when you want to run to be light you say more than 14 so what you want to do when be more than 14 it's really easy I just want to run some music for I say okay I define media player here I say MP then here you go here I would run my music and I'm done just I initialize it I define the URL for music I say I will read online therefore I added access to internet then run it that's great now whenever anyone if the room is dark someone enter the room and you open the light the light value will be more than 40 this music will be run but I don't want this code will be run 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 again whenever the light change. I want it to be run one time so it's better to say okay I have boolean value here will be is running equal false for example this way so I make sure it's be run one time I say okay if is running and is running not and is not run writing it this way sorry I'm just writing code in different language so I sometimes get confusing so uh, is running equal equal false that means he's not running so please change is running to true so to avoid running it again so yes now now everything is clear last part just go to the main face and make sure you add this line you be inside X simulator you say okay this will be required because it have to be available in the device to start working. Now let me run on real device and see. Here we go. Here is my phone. Now let me just start the app. It doesn't do anything. If I open the light in the room. See? 